Welcome to Module 5, Topic of the Permits, Signage, TAVC Rules, and Standard Penalties. Module Objectives. After completing this module, you will, number one, be able to describe the laws for serving alcohol in private clubs. Number two, understand the difference between temporary and promotional permits. Number three, be aware of the correct signs to be posted at your establishment. Number four, Understand what can happen to your establishment if you violate a TABC rule. Authorized Activities A private club registration permit authorizes alcoholic beverages belonging to members of the club to be stored, possessed, and mixed on the club premises and served for on-premise consumption only to members of the club and their families and guests by the drink or in a sealed, unsealed, or broken containers of any legal size. An applicant for or the holder of a private club registration permit may apply to the commission to have the activities authorized under the permit restricted to the storage and service of wine, beer, and malt liquor for members of the club, except as otherwise provided by this chapter, an applicant for or the holder of a permit that is restricted under this subsection is subject to all the requirements of this chapter. The commission may adopt rules as necessary to implement this subsection. In a private club, alcoholic beverages may be served only to and consumed only by a member. A member's family, spouse, parents, or adult children, or a guest who is brought to the club by the member. A temporary membership may be issued for a period of not more than three days. A temporary member may not bring more than three guests to the club and must remain in their presence while they are at the club. Before service is provided, ask the customer if he or she is a member or family member of a member of the club. If the answer is yes, verify membership by a membership card, membership roster, electronic membership system, a temporary membership card. Once membership is verified, you may serve. If the answer is no, ask the customer if they are a guest of a member. If the answer is yes, verify membership of the member. Once membership is verified, you may serve, but only accept payment from the member. If the answer is no, do not serve, or, depending on the club, you may obtain a pre completed preliminary membership or issue a temporary membership card. Once a completed preliminary membership or a temporary membership card is issued, you may serve. Guests. Guests shall be limited to those who accompany a member or a temporary member onto the premises or for whom a member other than a temporary member has made prior arrangements with the management of the club. Except as provided in subsection C of this section, no guest shall be permitted to pay by cash or otherwise for any service of alcoholic beverages. Any charge for service rendered to a guest by the club must be billed by the club to the member or temporary member sponsoring the guest. A club shall bill a member other than a temporary member for the service of guests in the club's regular billing cycle. The manager of a hotel, who is a member of a private club located within the hotel building, may issue a guest card to a patron of the hotel who is staying in the hotel overnight or longer. The holder of the guest card may be served alcoholic beverages in the club or the holder's hotel room. The guest may not be allowed to pay by cash or otherwise at the time of service in the private club. The charge for service shall be billed to the hotel manager's account in the hotel and shall be collected by the hotel manager along with other hotel charges, including the charge for using the hotel room when the patron leaves the hotel. The hotel record shall be available for inspection at the request of the commission. If the club operates under the locker system, a guest shall be served from the locker rented to the manager of the hotel. The commission shall promulgate rules necessary to implement the provisions of this section. Temporary and promotional permits. Promotional permit. The holder of a promotional permit may, on behalf of a brewer, distiller, rectifier, manufacturer, winery, or wine bottler with whom the permit holder has entered into a contract with engage in activities to promote and enhance the sale of an alcoholic beverage in this state, including activities that take place on the premises of the holder of a permit or license. This means that a permit holder is allowed to do in-store demonstrations and promotions like offering wine and beer samples. The holder of a promotional permit can still face criminal charges for providing alcohol to a minor or serving an intoxicated person. Because these are criminal violations, it is important for a promotional permit holder or the agent or employee to verify the person is 21 years of age or older before serving, 
Look for and identify signs of intoxication. Know who to go to when they need help with a customer and know how to professionally and safely refuse service. Remember, even though you are only offering sample beverages, it is a criminal offense to provide alcohol to a minor or serve an intoxicated person. Temporary permits, fairs, festivals, special events, etc. Many organizations will apply for temporary permits that allow the sale and service of beer, wine, and mixed beverages at locations in which beverages are not usually sold for on-premise consumption. It is important for a seller or server to know that regular alcoholic beverage laws apply even though they are working or volunteering at a special event. When working or volunteering for a special event, know how to check IDs, recognize signs of intoxication, safely and professionally refuse a sell, ask for help from management or law enforcement. Remember, even though you are a volunteer and aren't being paid for your time, you can still be held civilly and criminally liable for serving an intoxicated person and criminally liable for providing alcohol to a minor. Free drinks. Some organizations choose to provide free alcoholic beverages as part of a promotion or event. In this instance, no license or permit is needed. However, in order for this to be the case, the beverages must be offered to any adult that walks in the door and requests a beverage. If the beverages are for paying customers only, it is assumed that the price of alcohol is included in the price of the service. In that instance, a license or permit is required.